Joining me now is Slava Malamud, a longtime sports journalist who has covered the NHL extensively for Russian outlets. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. Now, before we get into that, you've been effectively blacklisted from Washington Capitals games because you have been critical of Ovechkin's relationship with Putin. Tell us about that. Yeah, that is true. It happened in 2014, uh, long before uh, Ovechkin made his association with Putin uh, official, when he took part in the so-called uh, Save Children from Fascism campaign that painted Ukraine as a fascist nation and effectively uh, whitewashed Putin's invasion of Ukraine back in 2014 um, uh, and, fra and helped to frame the narrative that Putin was not, mere, was not interfering in Ukraine, was not annexing parts of Ukraine. He was merely denazifying it. Uh, Ovechkin was the most visible, the most uh, famous uh, Russian celebrity to take part in that campaign. And when I criticized him for it, I received nasty letters from the Washington Capitals that eventually uh, resulted in my being uh, denied credentials and blacklisted from the building as a journalist. Huh. Now, speaking of Ovechkin, he still has up on his Instagram page a picture of him and Vladimir Putin together. And the sense that I get, and you know this way better than I do, but just as an outsider, I looked at that thinking, if he could, I'm sure he would take that down at this point, but that there are a lot of people who've been commenting on his Instagram page suggesting you better not take that down, and that would suggest to me that's why he's not doing it. But tell me. I have to vehemently disagree with that. Um, yeah. And uh, first of all, it, the, the idea that uh, Putin or his accomplices would sit there and constantly refresh Ovechkin's Instagram pa page and immediately retaliate against his family if he changed his picture is ludicrous. Uh, secondly, his family is in Russia because they choose to be. The Russia doesn't have exit visas. Uh, Ovechkin, for Ovechkin, money is not a consideration. He could get them out of Russia anytime he wanted to. And to think of it, why would you, anyone want to have their family uh, in a country where they could come into danger the second you change your Instagram profile picture? Well, because maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, it's not up to the, maybe it's not up to him. Maybe it's up to the family. Maybe the family doesn't want to leave, right? I mean, yeah, the, fam the family doesn't want to leave precisely because they like it there and they like uh, they like the regime. And okay. they, uh, oh, they, they, well, they come don't, on. They, Wait a sec. Wait a sec. I mean, but, but again, that, that, that suggests that I mean, again, I'm not I'm not defending the Russians here, but I do have a level of sympathy for these athletes whose families are in Russia. It sounds like you're just suggesting, well, you know, they can get them out if they need to get them out, et cetera. You know, life isn't that easy, particularly in Putin's regime. And first the idea all, that, yeah, go ahead, I'll let you respond. Yeah. First of all, uh, uh, the case with Panarin, uh, which I'm very familiar with, and I, want, I just want to say that nothing that happened to Panarin uh, suggests in any way that it, it came down from, uh, from high up, up in the Kremlin. It's, uh, it, by all indications, it was just his former coach who wanted, who was out of coaching at that point and wanted to get back into the good graces of the powers that are. Uh, by framing Panarin. And that didn't even work because Panarin is fine and the coach is not coaching. Um, mm -hmm. as, but even more importantly, Putin does not go after celebrities. He doesn't go after people uh, going after whom could cause a backlash in Russia. And Novichkin is universally popular. Uh, and that, that's the first part of it. And the second part, I think we're asking the wrong questions. I think we shouldn't be asking whether or not it's dangerous for Ovechkin to speak out against Putin. He doesn't even have to speak out against Putin. All he can do is say, you know, this, this war is a mistake. We shouldn't have done this. Just like a but, but, famous but Russian that, powerlifter. But, but, famous, but that famous is Russian speaking out against Putin. Yeah. Well, but, but that is speaking uh, out against Putin. Sure. Okay. But uh, we should be asking the question, why did Ovechkin speak so forcefully for Putin? For that's true. Years. That's true. That's true. We should be, that's, we that's should it. be uh, yeah, we should be calling for accountability for his previous actions and not so much excusing his current I, inaction by imagined threats to his family. I well, I, I don't know if they're imaginary, but I totally agree with you about the 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 why are there no questions about him up to this point. And I've made that point myself on this show. Completely agree with you there. But 
you know, it does seem to me, and I'll give you the final word on this, it does seem to me that putting the, the big picture here of the Russian celebrities, the Rus you say, you know, Putin is, doesn't take action against it. We're in a different world right now. And it would seem to me that if I were a Russian celebrity, and again, I don't, I'd just be nervous. I'd be scared about this guy's a madman and he is furious about the failures he's having in this war. And I am so scared of what will happen to my family at home if I say anything. Your final word. This is not Devichkin I know. I've known him for a very long time. I've known him since he was 17 years old. This is not the type of guy who is sitting there and uh, uh, shaking his boots for his family. Yeah. He could get them out. What about the anytime. others? He could get them out anytime he wants. There's lots of Russian celebrities who've spoken against the war and got out of Russia since then. Mm -hmm. A famous Russian powerlifter, uh, Malanichev, spoke against the, the war yesterday. He didn't uh, say Putin's name. He did not uh, accuse anybody of anything, but he said it was a giant mistake. We should not have done that. And, you know, and he's the guy who doesn't have the fraction of the following that Ovechkin has. Okay. You know, there are, there are people with a lot more, uh, with, with a lot more to lose and a lot. Uh, All right, fair people, enough. People who could be, who could have been retaliated against much more readily than him. The, the most famous celebrity in Russia yeah. by far. And they fair have enough. Look. Look, you, yeah. this is why we have you on the show, because you know more about this than I do. Uh, so, Slava, thank you very much for coming on the show. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.